Hi guys, welcome. This is um, a video about Samba, that's the topic, right? But in the meantime, I also respond to somebody online on the forum that he has problems with a hardened kernel. So this is um, switched. It's super simple, right? We do not need ap any applications to install kernels. There is no GUI necessary. This is it, right? Or the Zen or the LTS. And you switched and then it says up here, hardened, hardened. So there is no issue with Plasma and hardened so that he can see that as well. So Samba, I've just put something online that can help us navigate through the network because it's basically also that, right? There is a new ArcLinux system config git or an ArcLinux D system config git, depending if you're on an ArcLinux D ISO. Nothing happens, you may think, and that's correct, nothing happens. But um, root user, this is something you should know, user local share. And here in this little folder, user local share, there's a folder called Arclix. And because of that package that I just shown you, you have all kinds of important things there. The, the standard, the, the backup of Bash RC. So I know there's an ETC scale, right? Some of the things really can go in there and that's a great backup. But the Bash RC, ZSHRC, there are some files in here, not these, these guys, but this guy, for instance, that's in the .config gpg.conf and this is the new guy and a switch and it has to do with Samba. Now there are already so many videos about Samba. So YouTube probably Eric the well best to go there that channel specifically. We need to go to the channel right stop the video if it starts. No it's not starting. Here is where you look not up here here okay and then you search just in my channel not in youtube millions trillions of videos right so there is a playlist so definitely look at the playlist and um, there is a meta package as well but i'm just gonna go into detail in the sense that um what I do, right, what I do is the following. There are different ways of in installing because there's different ways of where the scripts are and that's all it is, scripting. So bin, main, all kinds of things. And do we do have an, a way, a simple way to say exactly the same as you just saw with the hardened in the script there, right? But Samba is in here, install Samba version three. We need to go over the internet, no, over the network, the local network, the LAN, right? And be able to see other people. But this one, you need to install that one as well to get to Samba on the other machine. And it has something to do with this NS switch. Now, we've made our choices in the ETC NS switch. So if you open that, N, N, double N, double S, which, <laughs> so NS switch, that's an alias. Because it's an important file, it's an alias. And we can immediately go in there and change these things, these references, these codes, these host line is where probably we're gonna um, change some things around. So it is normally set well, correctly, in the sense that we can get to our NAS servers and all that. But, right? But. So, let's have a look at the install Samba. Let's open this thing on my second screen. There it goes. Make it bigger. So, we get the original configuration file from Samba itself. So, this is their take on the configuration file. And it's called SMB Conf Original. This is our take on Arc Linux uh, way of thinking, right? And we do it twice, one as backup and one as the one that's gonna work. This is the only one that's gonna work. All the rest is reference material. You change these things and you compare with each other. 
We're going to enable the Samba servers, the NMB servers, and start it again. He wants to know my login. Why? Because we need to become part of a group, right? Samba password. Well, this is password. Uh, we are already part of a group, I guess. Yup, yup, yup. And here we have the Samba share windows. Okay, that's something you need to do. Now, I always go from Linux to Linux, but, um, right, you can put that on as well. I was wondering if it's, um, it's just not for Windows alone, I think. So you go and look at that. So update or software update at remove. And you type in browse, look it up. GFSS, so file system, Samba, SMB, SMB. Virtual file system implementation with your Windows client. Mm -hmm. Okay, the GNOME project. David Grunge did it. SFTP, SMB, HTTP, DEF, and many others. All right, so learn. If you don't know, look it up. That being said, you can go. How we close this thing? <laughs> this is like this right mouse click. Ugh, I like the buttons up there. Okay, so that's one thing. That, that means that you can share on this computer, so this becomes the Samba server, this becomes the server, if you install all that, okay. Enter. Now it's not so easy as just uh, run a script. What's your login? It will be used to add this user to SMP. There you go. And the password, very difficult password. Voila. And everything is installed, was installed, is, it, is installed. Now, the services, the package has been installed, the services have been loaded up, but where is its configuration? By default, it's the standard, right? It's the SMB. So let's have a look. We go to etc, Samba, and that's the only one that's used. All the rest are things. And also for the Windows, right? There is a Windows config. So if you want to know what's the difference, go and compare. But this is not, well, melt menu is there. Okay. So compare selected files, folders, and files are identical. Cool. Now this thing, needs to be set and the best ways is to work with colors pearl has been helpful in a lot of videos so that's working that's working and all the rest is just gibberish all the gray is not used and at the very end i've added a few lines i've told him that i have a home eric shared i've told him i have a home eric noob no shared so shared so I make one folder on my system and all my computers around me can go to that folder on this PC if I use it. And a path is home Eric shared, that's correct, with capital letters. Browsable, yes, guest is okay, public is yes, and writable is yes. So what I'll do is make something and anything, a script, a video, right, on another PC navigate with Thunar, which is my great help, and navigate to this PC, dump it in that folder, and I'll do, I don't know, I make a package or I put a video online or anything else, right? So this is the Samba server, and everybody else needs to connect to it. Now first we save, and we do this with Sublime Text because it asks the password and then it's saved on this protected uh, part of the computer. 
Okay. Now you want to see the other computers in your network. Oh, that's a super QME, left WM, right? You want to see the other computers. So if you go back and go back and go back and go back, yep, we have install network discovery. So we want to install Avahi, enable it, start it. Shares on a Mac, shares on a Linux, uh, Windows. And this is new, right? The switch thing, this is new. I'll change this little script into the following. Go get, that's of course for the Arc Linux people, which, which we support, right? This script says, go get, we'll say, <laughs> go get. All right, user, local, share, article Linux, get this. This is our way, our choices of the nsswitch.conf. Okay, control C. I would like to make two things, a copy of the original and also copy paste the content over. So this is the one that's of course exactly the same, right? But this is the original one. So control V, that's what we're gonna do. Make sure that this particular text exactly the same. So this line host is the most important line to work out. Eh? how it should be on your network. We did provide already this configuration online. So it's just a copy paste for me for that particular file. GitHub.com article X D. We set this, all of this in any of our repositories. We set that as well. You can open any of them. Here is your Samba. Right, same thing, just copy paste a new number, a new name, but I have to think of changing it everywhere, like this one. Here we set something, well, this is what we'll get in the other script, right? Change etc and a switch. Go to the wiki, Arch Linux, title, domain, name, resolution. We're gonna make a backup, and we're gonna make a, a copy paste from what we think should be the choices to this one. So that's needed. But if you're an Arch Linux, everything is set, right? It's just when you start meddling with it and start changing with it and you don't know anymore what should it be, then we can run the script and everything is set the way it should be. Well, the way we think it should be. So it is entirely up to you to get to know more stuff and learn about all these configurations. But this works. And that's the last one. Not that I'm using it, but it's there. Um, so the source is coming from Fedora 23. I always say, think out of the box, please do, right? It's all Linux. So there are some, some ways to, to change. Okay, so test if a file is there. And it's gonna install some, well, right mouse click kind of things to share a folder. But it's kind of difficult because you need to, well, do all this, right? So the Samba shares a file, a variable, all kinds of things you need to do. Once you've figured it out, you write it in the script and you run the script, right? But basically, guys, I don't use it, so I haven't tested this. It's super simple. Samba is now shared. I don't know if I've installed Thunar on this machine and maybe it's quick a bit too soon to actually have a look already. Maybe I need to reboot. But here it is. This is my machine to the left. And this is probably my machine here. <laughs> Control T. I have a great name. Eric system product name, right? That's the guy. So this guy has a folder called shared. I can become part of that system. I have a difficult password, I remember forever, and then I connect and I can do 
some work. And I put it on this machine. Now, of course, I'm on this machine. So the sound will go a little bit lower, but I'm now two meters to the left. I'm on the ISO builder. I launch Thunar. I go to the network, browse network. I do find Eric's system product name. I go and click on it, share, registered user, it's Eric, password, <coughs> and remember forever, connect, I see a new folder there, and I say create a document called hi. Okay, I roll back here, I press F5 on this screen, F5, nope, not working. Let's do this again. Uh, unresponsive, right? Let's go there again. Thunar, please. Thunar file manager. Going to, ah, uh, it's there already. Did I create it? Oh, I did not create it. Why is that? Create documents, empty file. I created a folder in a folder so new folder maybe that doesn't say a thing so I'll create uh, Apple creates voila. and now we do an F5 there you are there is Arco so Samba <coughs> is something they teach in the third year of the University of Applied Informatics. But then it's more with um, in connection with Windows and all that. So it's it can be daunting to figure it all out. But if you do it like I do it, one folder in the smb.conf, that's the one, one folder. And it's not saved for some reason. Let's see, what did I do? Control Z, oh, probably a text, right? Yep. Control Z, Control Z. So, that's why it's an, an un unimportant, this machine. But okay, Control S, save. The thing is, make sure this works. The Samba is the most important thing can set other things but anyone can read right in this folder create a folder in your home folder change Eric into your username delete the semicolons and then voila it works right sometimes you need to reboot thank God I did not need to reboot now for the video but it all works I'll make an update so the user bin here will reflect something else all right cheers